All right, it is the UFC's unofficial home base, T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000 plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC line. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night and a fantastic T-Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Well, she's really putting it all together on the feet, DC, staying busy and certainly staying active. Well, she said she was going to go to the takedown early, and she goes right to it, and it's there. So a good sign that she's able to get this fight to the ground where she wants. She said when and where she decides she was going to be able to secure takedown. She does exactly that very early in the first round. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, elbows landing in bunches. Now you got to cover up. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges. She's doing a fantastic job of building the posture to try to land that kill shot from the top. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing on the double leg, yes. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success with this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Well, the stats producer's been busy tonight, DC. 49 total strikes. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crotch. She's taking for a ride. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the match. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use to follow it up? When you're in a clinch, you can pull down the head and land these beautiful punches in the head. The cardio you must have in order to secure this mini take. In the clinch, Durandamy's back in full goal. Nunez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Now she's got the Muay Thai club. Nice straight punch. Well, she's already landed several big takedowns, and there's another one. So you got to like what you're seeing here. This offensive wrestling is on point. It's unbelievable. The variety of takedowns is what I am truly a fan of. It's not just one thing. She is doing different approaches. Different takedown. In the clinch, Durandamy's trying for a Kimura here. The is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Nicely done. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Durandamy. All right, nice transition into full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up, get some big ground to pound off, which will lead to you past the half guard. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Just missed with the left there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave. Whether so this can change the fight, another takedown lands. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pump. And she gets back up again. Nice job to post the hand and get upright. Oh, man, does she have the jab working tonight. Beautifully done on that exchange. She's got it going, and it's so fast and so accurate. She's really good at fighting behind her chest. Man, her head is just getting snapped back like a turtle. Beautiful combination once again, and she just hasn't been able to adjust. Striking defense should not be employed by getting punched in the face. She has to move her head, keep her hands up to avoid taking all these clean shots. Good punch, Lance. 
mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying right, so active. she goes for the double leg takedown here, DC, and she is able to secure it. Beautifully done there. Beautifully done. Great timing, great angle on the finish. Great job getting to her best position. All right, let's take a look. All right, folks, without further delay, we present our second round. Jermaine Durand versus Amanda Nunes. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual, really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender. This shot she's thrown tonight for a point of time. Beautiful. 